special needs society for actually being very opened up to our call and showing so much willingness to work with us and to, uh, to build a, a more stronger, all-inclusive campus. I'm very sure that it has been the hard desire of the university to see things like this start up. And in as much as um, I'm not very encouraged as to the number of able students who have joined us today, I strongly believe that this is a step in the right direction. And positively, we would have years on people who, have, or who will express so much interest in coming to join us or even liaising with us to be friends and in expanding this community. This has really been on my heart for, for us to do. Uh, it's something that I've always wanted to see come to pass because I've always said that even as able as I look, it takes a twinkle of an eye for me to be in a position where I can be called disabled. And um, I realized that there are so many beautiful reasons why I should have a very cordial relationship with people that are disabled because now it gives me that urge to, to appreciate humanity even more. Um, aside that fact, we are all created to be very interdependent on ourselves. In fact, even in our human nature, we have two hands so that the left can help the right and help the right to the left. And it should let us all understand that at one point in time, we would always have the need for a shoulder to lean on. Um, I want to appreciate all of you for holding the fort to this point. Look, it's, I know it's not easy trying to feel fit in in a community that has a majority of people very able and just a little uh, minority being um, in the situation that most of us find ourselves in. Um, I, I know that to a very large extent, all of us are very encouraged to be here. And I want you all to know that even this attempt from the SRC is an action to let you know that we think about you, we care about you, and there are so many things that we wish we could do even beyond our powers to be able to make you very, very comfortable in this university community. Now, moving away from talking on behalf of the university community to we as young people growing up. Look, I've met so many people who have made me appreciate life, even because of the condition that defined themselves. And I'm talking about the likes of, I mean, I've read, I read of Helen Keller and a host of other people who have done so much tremendous things, even in, in their dis disabled state. And uh, I've met the likes of even among us, Azameti, Gerald, uh, I mean, that in, I've met so many of very intelligent young men and women who have encouraged me to want to do this. The purpose of today's meeting was to possibly see some able students join us, some who are a little different from most of the friends you mingle with, so that they can be able to also offer some help when needed and uh, where very relevant. And uh, with that, I mean, should you want a situation where you, uh, you need some escorts or you need some helping hand and all of that, then there will be a community of friends mm -hmm. that we are probably going to call friends of our friends that uh, will be readily available, will frequent your, your directorate often, get to know your itinerary and, and support in any possible means. And I'm, I'm hoping that from today, after this group has formed and we've been able to mingle well with each other, know each other more, appreciate our flaws, our strengths, then we can be able to move on from there. I want to commend Isaac very well because he's been very supportive. He's, uh, he's constantly communicated with me to make sure something like this come to pass. From the beginning, I created a WhatsApp page and then I sent the invitation across for people who are interested to join. I had a huge number of people joining, but obviously this group room is not filled with 256 able students. And they should tell us that sometimes some people are actually willing, but due to certain circumstances beyond their control, they may not be able to stand in or to step in in instances of this nature. But it shouldn't discourage all of us. This is a good start. I want to encourage us as much as possible. Should we find ourselves among some colleagues who are able that uh, can be a part of this movement? I want this to be like a movement that will live on even for years. And so if I'm leaving because I'm in final year, there should be some group of students who are already existing that will quickly take over from us and will continue to be of helping hand. We're not doing this because 
there's some form of pity anywhere. No. We are doing this because we appreciate humanity and coexistence. And we know that at one point in time, if I'm even a, a helper of somebody who is disabled, I can be in a, a reciprocated situation. And it could be that the person I helped before is the one going to help me. I feel personally fulfilled when I, I offer helping hands to people who I know need the help. You know, it's different from somebody needing the help and you just wanting to offer help. If somebody needs the help and you offer it wholeheartedly, that impression that you've created on the mind or the heart of the person lasts really long. And it, it can really open doors because I have, I'm a testimony of this that I'm sharing with you. So this is a, a, the, the passionate reason why something like this is what I decided to do. Um, after here, what we'll do is we'll continue the discussion, we'll feel at home, we'll do more interactions, uh, we would have a few drinks and a few bites, just solid, uh, solidarize and, and you know, get to know each other better. And then the able students among us, we are going to hold the fort, no matter how small we are. And uh, I mean, of course, we're going to extend this to uh, anybody that is going to watch this video or anybody that's going to listen or anybody who will be privy to this information. We are going to extend this help or this, this group to anybody anywhere who thinks that it is possible for them to help uh, our friends that are in need of our support. Um, what we also do is to encourage the, the able students to know the right things to do, what to say and not to say, how to say it, how to manage our friends so that at the end of the day, nobody looks disadvantaged or nobody looks, looks down upon. And we are, we are also going to encourage that as much as possible, the AWO students will visit the directorate. Very soon, I'm sure that the leadership will let us know what directorate and where it is and how to be able to have access to the information and all of that. So that at the end of the day, we know that this is living on and all of us have, have decided to do something that has come to stay. So with that notwithstanding, I'd like to, uh, I'd like to indulge us to, to accept this proposal of coming together to form this group. And after this, uh, whatever names we've collected, whatever numbers we've collected, we're going to create a new group. There's one group I created already that I'll most likely even dissolve. Because I realized that we don't really need the numbers. We need dedicated people who are willing, out of their own heart, to be able to support. And if we get the opportunity of even getting three, five people, and out of that group grows even a larger number, I think it's better off. So ladies and gentlemen, I really appreciate your coming. It is something that I feel fulfilled, if for nothing at all, as being SRC President of the University of Ghana, that I've done, even for God and country. Thank you so much, and God bless you.